In order to appreciate how business activity is different from other activities in the society, the nature of business must be explained in terms of its key characteristics, which we will be discussing now. First, business is an economic activity. It is considered to be an economic activity because it is undertaken with the object of earning money or livelihood and not because of love, affection, sympathy or any other sentimental reason. Before goods are offered to people for consumption, they must be either produced or procured by business enterprises. Thus, every business enterprise either manufactures the goods it deals in or it acquires them from producers to be further sold to consumers or users. Goods may consist of consumable items of daily use such as sugar, ghee, pen, notebook or capital goods like machinery, furniture, etc. Services, on the other hand, may include facilities offered to consumers in the form of transportation, banking, electricity, etc. The third characteristic involves sale or exchange of services for satisfaction of human needs, directly or indirectly. Business involves transfer or exchange of goods and services for value. If goods are produced not for the purpose of sale, but say for internal consumption, it cannot be called a business activity. Cooking food at home for the family is not business, but cooking food and selling it to others in a restaurant is business. Thus, one essential characteristic of business is that there are there should be sale or exchange of goods or services between the seller and the buyer. Business involves dealings in goods or services on a regular basis. One single transaction of sale or purchase does not constitute business. Thus, for example, if a person sells their domestic radio set even at a profit, it will not be considered a business activity. But if this person sells radio sets regularly, either through a shop or from their residence, it will be regarded as a business activity. The next characteristic of business is to earn income by the way of profit. No business can survive for long without earning profit. That is why businessmen make all possible efforts to maximize profits by increasing the volume of the sales or by reducing costs. The next key element of a business is the uncertainty of return. This refers to the lack of knowledge relating to the amount of money that the business is going to earn in a given period. Every business invests money, also known as capital, to run its activities with the objective of earning profit. But it is not certain as to what amount of profit will be earned. Also, there is always a possibility of losses being incurred in spite of the best efforts put into the business. The final characteristic is an element of risk. Risk is the uncertainty associated with an exposure to loss. It is caused by some unfavorable or undesirable event. The risks are related with certain factors like changes in consumer tastes and fashions, changes in methods of production, strike or lockout in the workplace, increased competition in the market, fire, theft, accidents, natural calamities and so on. No business can altogether do away with risks.